Alrighty, hello there YouTube. This is Rashid, aka Ra Alo, coming at you guys, bringing you another video. This is Joyra's Discount Joyride and Discount Rocks. And this and this deck, I tried to go ahead and take a different approach to Joyra. I'm going to be 100% honest with you guys and say uh, the reason why I'm sharing this is just because I'm trying to find more ways to really make this work. And I maybe might have to um, come at this from a different angle or, you know, a, a different a different perspective. Uh, but pretty much I wanted to take the most popular slash common version of Joyra, which is literally zero cost mana rocks and, you know, like zero cost artifacts and you play them and you draw and you get just a bunch of value off of it. Uh, so as you guys can see, we're running, you know, Sahili and also Ugin the Ineffable to kind of make things cost less because, uh, I decided to opt out of running Mana Vault and also Mana Crypt and just other things that are just drastically expensive that maybe I don't have like an extra copy of, which just so you know, I don't have an extra copy of either one of those. Uh, but as well as uh, even having an extra, you know, like force of will, fierce guardianship, stuff like stuff like that, you know, things that things that are actually, you know, not only expensive, but that hopefully players can uh, over time gradually get at a realistic cost. So the main point of this deck is, is that we want to, hit a point where our artifacts are pretty much free and we want to be able to play our artifacts and our artifact creatures and really take advantage of what of what we have available to us to kind of siphon through our deck and draw and then bounce things back and then you know play them out again and then draw some more uh so you know, we have the, artif you know, Artificer's Assistant, which allows us to scry, lowers artifact costs, lowers artifact costs. Uh, this one, whenever you cast a non-creature spell, it deals one damage to each opponent. This is kind of, the, I have this card, and I want to say like one or two other cards that kind of do the same thing, where they are just solely in there for um, really helping out and getting in some extra damage. Um, Foundry Inspector lowers the cost of artifacts. Goblin Engineer, you know, allowing us to kind of move artifacts, you know, to and from. Same with, you know, Goblin Wielder. Uh, Hadron Ca uh, Crawler, Mana Dork, uh, lowers the cost. Mana Dork, lowers the cost. Deals damage. Mana Dork, free, free. Mana Dork, free, Mana Dork, with Invect. Uh, here goes another card that where when we where when we're drawing each opponent loses one life. We're hoping to kind of kill everybody in one fellow swoop or you know one fellow go. Uh, and also once again deals one point of damage uh, whenever an artifact ETBs. Uh, and then of course you have Shield Sphere, zero cost. Silver Mirror, Mana Dork, Draw, and also Walking Ballista because we are running the Isochron Scepter Dramatic Reversal combo in here. So we do like the option of where if we can't draw our deck out, and also I've seen that people are not necessarily always the biggest fan of the Thassa's Oracle um when con even though i'm going to be 100 percent honest you know it's high it's high level magic so it uh i love seeing thosical you know thos's oracle uh demonic consultation i love losing to it as well but that's a separate video for something else but i was like okay no thosa no jace what else do we have well, we have Walking Ballista. Uh, I would love to do stuff, you know, utilizing uh, Underworld Breach. Uh, but, you know, Underworld Breach really combos off with Lion's Eye Diamond. And for cost reasons, I really wanted to make sure that I kind of worked with, once again, what we could get our hands on and not be like, oh, God, this is this is this is like really out of hand. 
uh, sorceries, crackle with power. So the reason why this is in here is because, once again, not only do we have uh, plenty of ways to make uh, infinite mana. Actually, that's a lie. It's not necessarily plenty of ways. It, it is the Isochron Scepter Dramatic Reversal. And, you know, we are running the Mystical Tutor to grab our uh, Dramatic Reversal. But Crackle with Power is pretty much something to where if you're able to kind of get people low enough, this is a good finisher. Because it deals five times X to each of up to X targets. So, it's a it's a finisher, and it's a good finisher. Get probe, being able to look at somebody's hand can never be bad. It's just good. Uh, Je uh, Jessica's will, another fantastic card, gets you mana, and also allows you to play things from the top of your deck. And one thing that I did notice is is that uh, while play testing this, man, windfall, clutch card. Very, 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 very clutch card. Um, our instance, kind of light on it, but, you know, Arcane Denial, uh, Desperate Ritual for Mana, Dispel for Course Counterspell, Dramatic Reversal, uh, Hercules Recall, Return All Artifacts, Target Player Owns to His or Her Hand, just allows us to kind of dig a little bit more. Mental Misstep, of course. Miscast, of course. Mystical Tutor, of course. Negate, of course. Pact the Negate, of course. Paradoxal Outcome, once again, does the same thing as Hercules Recall, but also allows us to draw for each card returned this way. And we also technically get to choose. Uh, rebuild, you know, another fantastic card. Uh, retract, another fantastic card. Seething Song, Float some Mana, Snap. Great. Swan Song, great. Unwind. I'm pretty sure if you guys see uh, most of my deck profiles, any way that I can go ahead and get a free counter spell, you know, or a free bounce spell or something that's free, I will go ahead and take advantage and do so. But this is where really a lot of the meat and potatoes are. The other win con that we have is literally Aether Flux Reservoir. Um... And that is because we are we are truly not afraid of uh, storm counts when it comes to the stack. And I think that this is a very, very good backup plan for if things get really, really sketchy. Um, I'm going to be 100% honest with you. I have contemplated, uh, uh, contemplated on putting Mind's Desire in here because that also has a storm option. Or, you know, if I could, like, you know, put Brain Freeze in here uh, and see if that might be a viable option as well. But nonetheless, Aetherflux Reservoir, uh, just the life gain is fantastic. The free stuff is fantastic. We really don't, like, we really have no issues with it. Arcane Signet, amazing. Uh, Bone Saw, it's free. You know, Claws of Gig's free. Cloud Key helps lower the cost. Uh, Codex Shredder, if you get it off with Ice Concept or Dramatic Reversal, hey, guess what? Now you're milling people. Uh, Dark Steel Relic, Everflowing Chalice, Felwar, Helm of Awakening. You know, like just these are like, you know, inspiring uh, statuary. Like these are these are cards that are not only just really, really good uh, in most of in most other decks but like they're they're helping lower the cost you're you know you're able to kind of dig through your decks as, as much as you can within reason without you know hitting kind of a dead patch and i think that that's pretty good uh intruder alarm i have that i have that in here for you know the little the little Dorcases, uh, you can definitely trade out Intruder Alarm for Ristic Study, and that's not a bad play at all. I just know that for some people, um, and if I remember correctly, like Ristic Study, it's around like, what, like 30-ish, 40-ish dollars right right now. Um, Intruder alarm. It's a. It, it is not a perfectly good substitute. I'm not even gonna lie to you, 
Uh, but Intruder Alarm has its own unique feature and ability in here where it helps us generate more mana and kind of allows us to go big where, you know, uh, whatchamacallit, where if we lose our Isochron Scepter Dramatic Reversal or, you know, if we need to kind of be able to cast things and continue to dig and, you know, continue to generate this mana, Intruder Alarm just, 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 just allows us to do that. Um, but really, your kind of saving grace so far is going to be Mystic Remora. Um, I would, I would love for you guys to assist and really maybe making this build possible where we can look and find not only a list of great things that people can put in here that might actually help uh, drive the deck's consistency up but also keep the deck within, I would say, a reasonable price range of, around, of about $400, no more than $500. So that is, a, you know, I was kind of I, I was kind of thinking like, well, man, you know, I don't want to go ahead and like put this video out and then just be like, oh, well, you know, this, 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 this is the best version I can, you know, come up with. Like, no, this deck, this deck can be uh, improved upon. Uh, we did it with the Ramirez de Pietro uh deck did three videos on him uh and i i kind of i kind of want to go ahead and do and do and do something like this for uh joyra and then of course we have our literal lands here <laughs> which uh i'm gonna be honest i am terrified to see that like hey you know we're only playing 20 lands and some of them which are tap lands however while playtesting it um i've been I've, I've been able to consistently hit at least like two to three lands and that seems to that seems to really be where our curve is kind of sitting so for the most part i'm not too concerned about us like just really 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 needing uh to up the land amount but nonetheless like just the fact that like a majority of our deck is you know cmc of like two i just really want to go ahead and be intentional about maybe upping the land count at least by like maybe another 10 uh so that everybody who does try this deck out or who is or you know who who is who is looking at this can kind of be like okay you know at least with like 30 lands if i can if i see like a hand of like two lands or so i'm solid uh but otherwise than that this is a very very brief short quick like straightforward video uh it was just, it, it was just something that i was just kind of like just looking around and just, just kind of like dinking around with and I was just like, you know what, man? I definitely really, 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 really want to go ahead and uh, see what we can do to help improve this deck here. But otherwise than that, you guys have a fantastic day. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Rashid, once again, a.k.a. Ra Alo, or as other people know me, Tactics. And I will be catching you all on the flip side.